Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The patient we're going to present has chronic congestive heart failure. He demonstrates shortness of breath even while he's at rest. He has difficulty completing a complete sentence with one breath and in fact indicates he gets short of breath on simple activity. At night he has orthopnea, is unable to lie down flat in bed, has to be propped up to sleep comfortably, may use more than one pillow or have to sleep in a hospital bed where the head of the bed can be elevated. When this becomes extreme, we call it paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. The patient wakes up at night, suddenly short of breath, has to assume the upright position, and in fact may get out of bed to open the window to try and get more air. These occur in discrete episodes, choking spells, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. This patient also complains of nocturia. He has to awaken at night to urinate, get out of bed, and in some cases up to six times a night. One of the signs this patient demonstrates of chronic congestive heart failure is pedal edema. He has swelling about the ankles, usually more evident at the end of the day when he's been upright through most of the day, collecting fluid that's readily visible. It may make his shoes tight, and in fact, may make him unable to wear shoes, as in this patient who wears slippers. Hi, Mr. Gunas. How are you these days? Good, sir. Real good. Good to see you. Good to know you, sir. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. All right, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll just put this arm down on the chair. She'll put a napkin around you. Okay, sir. Make you real comfortable. How you been feeling? Good, sir. Wonderful. Feeling really well. Wonderful. I notice you're breathing just a little bit hard today. Yes, sir. Walk. You having difficulty breathing this afternoon? Oh, no, sir. Not I did this morning, but not this afternoon, sir. When difficulty sleeping at night and lying down or well, breathing? I, I do, sir, on my back. Uh, sideways, uh, left or right, I don't have no difficulty at all, but laying flat on my back, I have difficult breathing, sir. Do you have to prop yourself up a little bit with pillows or something to be comfortable? No, I, I they set up the table. Uh, the bed up a little bit like that. I crank know. up the bed uh, for you. Crank up whatever you call it, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, crank it up a little bit, then I have comfortable for me to sleep. Do you have to get up a couple of times through the night to go to the bathroom? Yes, sir. A couple of times, two yeah. times, or oh, three times? More or? than that, well, sometimes four or five times, sometimes six times, sir. You drink a lot of fluids before you go to bed? Uh, yes, sir. You drink quite a bit before going to bed? Yeah, yes, sir. Are you uh, having any difficulty with swelling in your feet, uh, ankle uh, area? Uh, yes, sir. My legs are having difficult swelling up. Are they swollen now? Uh, yes, sir. Could I take just a little look here? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Having difficulty wearing shoes, are you? Uh, yes, sir. I can't get, I can't wear those shoes or stockings. I just want to slide up your pant leg yeah. here just a little bit. Yeah. You have a little swelling today? Yes, sir. I'll put a little pressure on your right, leg here for just a moment. Yes, sir. Just want to hold the pressure for just a moment. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll let up the pressure now. Would you like to put him back a little, doctor? I think that we'll uh, not go on today. I, I'd like to talk with his physician just a little bit on the problem. Mr. Gunas, yes, I think that because of the way your ankles are swollen today and your breathing and so forth, I think it'd be better if we not go ahead today because we have to lay you back to do what we have to do in the chair and I think your breathing would be a problem for us and I'd like to talk with your doctor a little bit more before right. we go on and all then right. we'll get started on this project a little bit later on after right. I check yes, with sir. him, all right? Yes, sir. Real good. Yes, sir. Hi, Mrs. Nishimoto. How are you? Good morning. Very good. It's good to see you. 
How's the family? Oh, very good. That daughter of yours ever get married yet? Are you having some difficulty? A little problem? My heart. Why don't you just sit right down here? Let me help you. Heart bothering you today? You have your pills with you? Here they are. Just put one right under your tongue there. There you go. Why don't you just sit back here for just a moment? Just sit right there. How you doing? Oh, it's better. Feeling a little bit better? Is this your first one today? No, I've had them before. I had them this morning. Two or three times already. How long does it take before the pill works for you? Oh, once I take the pill, it goes, it goes fast. About a minute or two? Oh, no, a little, while, little more than that. What's better now? Feeling better? We'll wait until you're comfortable, and then we'll see how we're going to do here. You feeling better now? Yeah, it's better. Are you well enough to go on, you think? I think so. Now listen, if you have any more pain, you can take another pill. It won't hurt to take two or three if you need to, and you just let me know if you're feeling uncomfortable, and we'll go ahead. All right, doctor. Okay. How you doing? Oh, man, gee, I don't feel so well. Not feeling too well? Um, maybe it's something I ate. It's uh, kind of uncomfortable. I... Feeling nauseous? Yeah, and it's uh, just doesn't feel very well. How long has that been bothering you? Oh, just start now. Well. It's not been too good all morning, really. Does it seem to get worse as the yeah. day goes on? Yeah. Let me move this out of your way, and we'll set you up here a little bit. Okay. Let's set him up, Joanne, just a little bit and see if we can't make you a little more comfortable. We'll just tip you up just a wee bit. How's that? Is that a little more comfortable? Well, it still hurts. I... You having chest pains? Uh, We'll sort it down here. Now in there, let me loosen your collar here just a little bit to see if we can't. Let's get this napkin off here. See if we can make you a little bit <clears> more <throat> comfortable. Yeah. Loosen that just a little bit. That's fine. It's been getting worse as the day's gone on. Huh? Well, yeah, maybe I, I shouldn't have come, I, especially after that. Let's just see how your pulse is doing here for a minute. Joanne, why don't you um, go to Dr. Nimeroff's office and have him come over and see if he'd take a look at him for us, okay? Hi, Bill. How are you? We have a problem here. Mr. Baker, this is Dr. Nimeroff, and he's an uh, internist next door, and I just thought it would be good if you'd take a look at him. He's been experiencing difficulty as we were operating. And uh, he tells us that he has some problems that have been progressive throughout the day. I wonder if you take a look. What's it feel like right now? Oh, it, it hurts. It, well, I, I, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's something I ate or... Does it, it take your breath away? Yeah. Uh, I, I just don't feel so well. Uh-huh. Do you have any oxygen? Yes, we do. Joanne, would mm -hmm. you get that for us? Thanks. So you notice you're a little bit sweaty. Is it hot for you here? Well, it's, yeah, I, I, I just don't feel very well. You've never had any irregularity of your pulse or any problems like that, have you? Mm, not that I know of. I'm gonna give you this little bit of oxygen here to help you breathe a little bit more easily. I think that'll help you with a, you'll feel a bit more comfortable. I think with this kind of discomfort, and for the amount of time this has lasted, I think I'd like to check you over more thoroughly in a hospital. I don't want to scare you, but I think I'd rather move you with an ambulance rather than have you 
walk half a block or walk to your car. Have you ever had any problem with your heart in any way? Mm, I don't think so. This may be indigestion, but I'd like to check you over carefully to make sure there's not a mild heart attack going on. Okay? You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.